Netflix maintains an official list of approved cameras to ensure its original productions meet strict standards for image quality, dynamic range, and workflow reliability. While not every project needs to follow this rule, Netflix originals require that 90% of the footage comes from approved models. For filmmakers on a budget, this can feel intimidating, but there are surprisingly affordable options that make the cut. Here are the seven most affordable Netflix-approved cameras worth considering. Canon's EOS R5C isn't just another camera. It's Canon's boldest attempt yet to merge two worlds that rarely play nicely together. High-resolution stills and true cinema-grade video. On one side, it's every bit the 45-megapixel, mirrorless powerhouse photographers expect from the R system. On the other hand, it's a cinema EOS machine with 8K raw video, pro-level controls, and unlimited record times, all inside a body that weighs less than most DSLR workhorses. For filmmakers, the R5C is an intriguing tool. Flip the switch to video and the menus transform into a full cinema EOS interface, complete with waveform monitors, timecode input, and extensive codec options. You can shoot 8K60 RAW internally with active cooling, keeping things steady, or step down to 4K120 for buttery slow motion, this time with audio included. Support for Canon Log 3, HDR formats, and oversampled 4K ensures plenty of flexibility in post, whether you're delivering for streaming platforms or cinema screens. Photographers get no compromises either. With up to 20 frames per second bursts, deep learning autofocus that tracks eyes, animals, and even vehicles, and an ISO range reaching 51,200, the R5C carries over the R5's best traits. Wildlife shooters, wedding photographers, and sports enthusiasts will find it keeps up with fast-moving action, while still delivering the color and clarity Canon is known for. What really sells the R5C, though, is versatility. Its RF mount unlocks the latest lenses while keeping compatibility with EF and cinema glass. It even dips into VR with Canon's dual fisheye lens. Pair that with a lightweight, weather-resistant build, and you've got a camera equally at home on a drone gimbal or shoulder rig. In a market where most hybrids lean heavily toward either photo or video, the Canon EOS R5C feels like a genuine 50-50 split for creators who hate carrying two bodies or refuse to compromise. The Sony FX3 is one of the most compact and versatile cinema cameras in Sony's cinema line built to bridge the gap between professional filmmaking and agile solo shooting. Designed with creators in mind, it brings the cinematic power of larger systems into a lightweight, cage-free body that's easy to carry and expand. At its core, the FX3 is powered by a 12.1 megapixel full-frame Exmor RCMOS sensor paired with the Bion's XR processor. This combination enables oversampled 4K recording up to 120 frames per second and full HD up to 240 frames per second, opening doors for creative slow motion capture. Its sensor design also ensures remarkably low light performance, with an ISO range that stretches to an impressive 400 9600, while still maintaining over 15 stops of dynamic range. Color science is another area where the FX3 excels. Out of the box, it supports Sony's S Cinetone, a profile inspired by the flagship Venice camera, delivering rich skin tones and cinematic color without heavy grading. For advanced workflows, S-Log3 and 16-bit RAW output via HDMI offer the flexibility professionals expect when matching footage across different cameras in the cinema line. The design of the FX3 prioritizes solo operators, Instead of requiring an external cage, it includes multiple quarter-inch 20 mounting points directly on the body, allowing easy attachment of monitors, microphones, or other accessories. A detachable top handle with dual XLR inputs further expands audio capabilities, enabling up to four-channel 24-bit recording, perfect for professional productions without additional gear. In terms of usability, the camera integrates advanced autofocus features such as real-time IAF and subject tracking, ensuring sharp focus even when shooting handheld or at wide apertures. 
To support extended recording sessions, Sony added an efficient cooling system with a quiet fan, preventing overheating during long 4K shoots. To be fair, it combines the performance of Sony's high-end cinema systems with the portability of the Alpha series, making it a true hybrid tool for the modern filmmaker. Now, the Panasonic Lumix BG-H1 represents a bold step for the Lumix lineup, shifting into the world of box-style digital cinema cameras. Designed with modularity and portability in mind, the BG-H1 combines cinema-grade features with a compact cube-shaped body that weighs just 1.2 pounds and measures under 4 inches square. This makes it an appealing choice for filmmakers, broadcasters, and creators who require both mobility and professional performance. But you'll have to get the modular accessories to make this camera work properly. At its core, the BG-H1 is powered by a 10.2 megapixel micro four-thirds sensor paired with Panasonic's dual native ISO technology. This allows for excellent low light performance and up to 13 stops of dynamic range, giving cinematographers flexibility in challenging lighting conditions. The camera supports 4K recording at 60p with 10-bit 422 color, ensuring cinematic detail and vibrant, gradable footage. It also accommodates anamorphic shooting, hybrid log gamma for HDR workflows, and Panasonic's V-Log L profile for a Varicam-style color pipeline. One of the BGH1's biggest strengths lies in its connectivity. It provides dual SD card slots for unlimited recording, while also offering simultaneous HDMI 2.0 and 3G SDI outputs. This allows one feed to go to a recorder while the other is used for monitoring, making it highly practical in professional setups. For high frame rate enthusiasts, it can record slow motion video up to 240 frames per second in full HD. The inclusion of Genlock and timecode IODO further makes it a natural fit for synchronized multi-camera environments. Durability is also central to the design with an aluminum magnesium body and active cooling system that ensures stability during extended recording sessions. Add programmable function buttons, tally lights, and support for professional audio via the optional XLR adapter, and the BGH1 emerges as a versatile tool bridging cinema, live streaming, and broadcast. In short, the Panasonic Lumix BGH1 is not just a box camera. It's a compact production powerhouse built for creators who need reliability, flexibility, and cinematic quality in a highly adaptable form. The Canon EOS C80 enters the market as a compact but powerful cinema camera designed for filmmakers who demand versatility without sacrificing image quality. Sitting between Canon's flagship C400 and the smaller C70, the C80 combines professional features with a portable body, making it well-suited for documentary, indie film, commercial work, and even live production. At the heart of the C80 is a 6K full-frame back-illuminated CMOS sensor. This sensor not only produces detailed, cinematic footage, but also leverages Canon's triple base ISO system, 800, 3200, and 12800 for maximum flexibility in both bright and low light environments. By oversampling 6K into 4K, the camera delivers cleaner images with richer color, reduced noise and finer detail, while also supporting 6K cinema raw light for those who prefer the highest level of post-production control. High-speed recording is another highlight. Videographers can capture UHD 4K at up to 120 frames per second or 2K at 180 frames per second, opening creative possibilities for slow-motion sequences. Canon's dual-pixel CMOS AF2 provides reliable, intelligent autofocus across nearly the entire frame with advanced subject recognition modes powered by deep learning technology. Connectivity is central to the C80's design. It includes both HDMI and 12G SDI outputs, which can be used simultaneously for monitoring and recording. Dual Mini XLR inputs support professional audio workflows, while Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and USB-C allow for remote operation and IP streaming. Timecode support ensures seamless syncing in multi-camera productions. The C80 also embraces Canon's RF lens mount, 
giving users access to the latest RF optics with fast communication and image stabilization. For those working in high-end cinema, an optional PL-RF adapter extends compatibility to PL mount cine lenses. A motorized ND filter system with up to 10 stops ensures precise exposure control without disrupting creative intent. Despite its robust capabilities, the C80 maintains a manageable size and weight, making it adaptable for handheld shooting, drones, or gimbals. Practically, Canon C80 gives filmmakers a flexible future-ready tool that thrives in both narrative and live production settings. Up next, we have the Sony FX6, part of Sony's cinema line, which is built for creators who need cinematic results without the bulk of a traditional cinema rig. Compact yet powerful, it brings pro-level features to filmmakers, documentarians, and solo shooters who value both quality and mobility. Lightweight and durable with a magnesium alloy body, the Sony FX6 is designed for run-and-gun production. Its cage-free design includes multiple mounting points, making it easy to attach accessories without extra rigs. The detachable handle with XLR inputs provides pro-level audio, while the Variangle LCD screen, tally lights, and intuitive controls enhance usability for solo operators. The FX6 houses a 10.2 megapixel full-frame Exmor RCMOS sensor paired with the Bion's XR processor, offering an incredible ISO range of 80 to 409,600. And with 15 plus stops of dynamic range, it captures stunning detail in both bright highlights and deep shadows. Creators can record 4K at up to 120 frames per second for smooth slow motion, while high bitrate codecs and 16-bit raw HDMI output ensure flexibility for professional workflows. Color science is a standout feature, with Sony's S Cinetone delivering cinematic tones straight out of the camera. For grading flexibility, S-Log3 and HLG are also available. Autofocus is equally impressive. Real-time IAF and AI-based subject tracking lock onto subjects with precision, while adjustable transition speeds allow for creative focus shifts. Built-in 5-axis stabilization and metadata-based stabilization tools further expand handheld shooting possibilities. The Sony FX6 strikes an ideal balance between professional cinema power and lightweight portability. Whether used as a main camera for documentaries, a B-cam on set, or an all-in-one tool for indie filmmakers, it delivers cinematic results without slowing down the workflow. For creators who need flexibility and uncompromising image quality in a compact body, the Sony FX6 is a camera that delivers on all fronts thus perfect for real professionals. Now, here's the RED Komodo X is the next evolution of RED's compact cinema line, delivering professional-grade performance in a body small enough to adapt to almost any production environment. Building on the success of the original Komodo, the Komodo X introduces a redesigned Super 35 global shutter sensor, advanced connectivity, and new power options all while maintaining the portability that made its predecessor so popular. At the heart of the Komodo X is a 19.9 megapixel Super 35 CMOS global shutter sensor capable of capturing 6K at up to 80 frames per second and 4K at 120 frames per second. This sensor overhaul improves shadow detail, enhances color accuracy, and ensures artifact-free motion even when shooting high action sequences or under complex lighting conditions. With more than 16 stops of dynamic range, it gives cinematographers the flexibility needed for both narrative and commercial productions. Lens flexibility is another standout. The camera ships with either a reinforced RF or Nikon Z locking mount, supporting native lenses as well as PL adapters for cinema glass. This makes the Komodo X versatile enough to integrate into high-end feature workflows or agile run-and-gun setups. Connectivity and workflow options have also been significantly upgraded. The camera includes 12 GSDI for clean 4K 60p output, USB-C for fast offloads, and IP connectivity, and built-in Wi-Fi for wireless control. On the audio side, the addition of a locking 5-pin connector with phantom power gives creators professional-grade sound capture without the need for bulky accessories. 
media handling is streamlined with CF Express Type B cards, offering higher capacities, faster transfer speeds, and reliable performance for demanding shoots. Power options have also expanded. An integrated micro V-Lock plate allows the Komodo X to use Redvolt Nano V batteries, while still supporting external power for longer productions. Despite all these upgrades, the Komodo X retains its famously compact footprint, weighing just over 2.6 pounds. Whether mounted on a drone, handheld rig, or multi-camera array, it delivers RED's signature image quality without compromise. Finally, we have the Panasonic Lumix S1H, which is currently the cheapest complete Netflix-approved camera. Unlike many mirrorless models that lean towards stills first, the S1H was designed from the ground up with cinema in mind and it shows in every detail, from its internal recording options to its rugged build. At the heart of the S1H is a 24.2 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor paired with Panasonic's Venus engine, a combination that balances high resolution with outstanding sensitivity. Dual native ISO technology gives creators two distinct base ISO levels, ensuring clean results whether you're filming in low-light interiors or bright outdoor sets. For filmmakers who demand flexibility in grading, the camera offers V-Log and V-Gamut straight out of the box, delivering more than 14 stops of dynamic range and making it easy to match with Panasonic's higher-end Vericam systems. The standout feature is its 6K recording capability at 24p, a rarity in the mirrorless world. Creators can also take advantage of 5.9K and a wide array of 4K options, all with 10-bit 422 internal recording. Importantly, Panasonic solved the overheating issue that plagues many competitors by integrating an active cooling system, enabling unlimited recording time. This makes the S1H as reliable on long documentary shoots as it is on narrative film sets. For versatility, the camera supports anamorphic shooting, variable frame rates for slow motion, and high frame rate recording with audio. Monitoring tools like waveform, vector scope, and tally lights further enhance its professional appeal, giving users the same kind of reliability they'd expect from larger cinema rigs. Paired with Panasonic's 5-axis in-body stabilization, it becomes a solid all-around performer for creators who want both motion and stills in one package. The Panasonic Lumix S1H is not just a camera, it's a bridge between cinema cameras and compact hybrids, offering creators uncompromising tools in a body they can carry anywhere. So, here's our list of the best affordable Netflix-approved cameras you can buy right now. Which one do you like the most? Share with us in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching.